Hello everyone and welcome. It's that time again where I make a video on what I think are the best survival games on the home consoles in 2023 as I'm recording this in January. So happy new year everyone. I did one of these videos in 2021. I did one last year, 2022. People seem to enjoy them. So here we go again. Here's one for this year. Um, these games in this video are my personal preference. It's my opinion on what I think are games, survival games, worth playing on the consoles. Some of you may disagree with a few of the choices in this video, and that's fine. But anyway, it's enough waffling from me. Look out towards the end of this video where I will be uh, talking about the upcoming games this year, the survival games, on the consoles. Fingers crossed they'll be arriving this year anyway. But with all that being said, let's get this started. First up is Seven Days to Die. Set in a brutally unforgiving post-apocalyptic world overrun by the undead, Seven Days to Die is an open world game that is a unique combination of a first-person shooter, survival horror, tower defense, and a role-playing games. This is the first time Seven Days to Die on console has made one of these best survival game on console lists. And that's because when I first played this, I found it was a little bit ropey. It was janky as all hell, but they have worked on it. And I went back to it because some of you lovely subscribers said, Trevito, it's good now. It's worth playing on the consoles. I've given it a try. It's much better. It deserves to be in this video uh, for 2023, even though it's an old game. It's available on PS4 xbox one it's not optimized for the newer consoles like the ps5 series s and x it's good guys it's well worth checking out like i say it was released way back in 2016 i think um it's worth picking up you'll get it cheap now seven days to die next up is arc survival evolved available on ps4 the nintendo switch and the xbox one stranded on the shores of a mysterious island you must learn to survive Use your cunning to kill or tame the primeval creatures roaming the land and encounter other players to survive, dominate, and escape. I like Ark a lot. I haven't played this for a while, guys, but it was where I spent many, many hours back in the PS4 days. I've also tried it on Xbox. Works just fine on there as well. It's still a little bit rough around the edges. It has to be on this video because it's... A pure survival game it's frustrating playing it alone team up with friends and you'll have some good fun with this so arc survival evolved this one has to be on this video yes it's daisy opinions always vary like crazy when it comes to this game i personally love it it's a great game to plow some hours into just to chill with meet up with friends it's very difficult when you first begin. Um, there's a steep learning curve when it comes to Daisy. Like most of the games on this video, it's best played with friends. There are guides online, guys, to read up on it. So if you get lost, there's a map I think you can download somewhere. Um, but yeah, it's a cool game. It's available on PS4 and Xbox One. It's not enhanced as far as I know. And Daisy, you'll probably be able to pick up at most places for sort of 25, 30 quid by now. So yeah, Daisy. Up next, we have Dismantle, available on PS4, PS5, Switch, Xbox One, and the Xbox Series X and S. Dismantle is a really cool game. It's a bit of an underrated gem, in my opinion. You could pick this up quite cheap now. Uh, at most of the stores for example on xbox store i think it's around 15 16 quid well worth your time well worth the risk at that cheap price dismantle next to feature on this best survival games on the consoles in 2023 video is green hell this is a really cool game one of the best games on this list in my opinion it is available on the nintendo switch ps4 xbox one xbox series x and the series s i've spent quite a bit of time with this on the xbox 
The description over at the Green Hell site says, Plunge into the open world survival simulation set in the extreme conditions of the uncharted Amazon jungle. Use real life survival techniques to craft, hunt, fight and gather resources, set a makeshift shelter or raise a fortress. Tend your wounds and maintain mental health alone or with friends. Now it does say with friends there, I think that's co-op only i don't think there's a pvp mode in this game i'm pretty sure there isn't there's a story mode but there is a pure survival mode as well it's a fantastic game green hell and next up is grounded as i'm recording this grounded is on game pass so if you subscribe to that service there's no risk to try this game grounded is awesome again it's an underrated gem i don't think grounded gets the praise that it deserves it is available on Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S. This game went gold. Basically, it was fully released in September of last year. The last time I spoke about this on the channel, it was in game preview. Uh, reviews were really good. Reception's really good. Again, I do think this is underrated, though. It doesn't get the love that I think it deserves. Grounded needs to be on this video. It's really, really cool. Again, if you've got Game Pass, Download it, guys. You won't regret it. How to Survive 2 is up next. And you can get this on the PS4 and Xbox One. It's quite old now. It hasn't been enhanced for the newer consoles. I actually did a Let's Try or a Let's Play How to Survive 2 a few months ago. It's on the channel. Go check it out. I really enjoyed my time with this. You'll pick this up for pennies now, guys. You'll get this really cheap I actually think it is part of the PlayStation Premium subscription service. So yeah, if you do subscribe to that, guys, grab it. I think on Xbox, it'll only cost you sort of 10, 15 quid. It's a really cool game. In the same vein as Dismantle, which featured earlier on this video, it's a, it's a low-budget survival game, and it's just loads of fun. So yeah, check it out. Rust has to be on this video. Personally, one of my favourite survival games of all time. Available on the PS4 and Xbox One, I would say 99.999% of you watching this video already know about Rust, already have played Rust, but there's a chance someone out there hasn't. The console port of this is very good, in my opinion. It was a bit rough at first, but I feel that Double Eleven, the developers who ported this over from the PC, have done a fine job. I think it's loads of fun. The maps on the console version are smaller than on the PC, or at least they were the last time I played this. I haven't played on console for a while now. Don't expect to make friends on Rust because let's just say it has a unique player base, or at least it did the last time I ventured out into the wilds. I love Rust. It's so unique. Um, there is nothing like it, and you need to try it. So yeah, Rust. Next up on the list is State of Decay 2. This game never seems to leave Game Pass. I think it's been on there like forever. And as you've probably guessed, it is available on the Xbox One Series X and the Series S. I love State of Decay 2. I've played many, many hours or spent many, many hours in this game, in, in that world. I'm really looking forward to State of Decay 3, which we'll get onto later in this video. But if you haven't played State of Decay 2 and you like your sort of survival games with the zombie theme, you like teaming up with friends, I think you could play with up to four of you co-op. They'll jump into your save or you could jump into their save. Yeah, just play together and have fun. I love it. I love State of Decay 2. I feel like it's aged well. Another game on this video that I think is underrated. Some of you may disagree with that, but I do think that this game needs more love. So, uh, yeah, State of Decay 2. Stranded Deep is the next game to feature on this video. It's available on the Xbox One, the PlayStation 4, and the Nintendo Switch. The description at the Stranded Deep website says, In the aftermath of a mysterious plane crash, you are stranded in a vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean, alone, without any means to call for help. You must do what you can to survive. This is another game I really, really like. 
I mean, I'm not going to list any games on this video that I don't like, so that kind of goes without being said, but Stranded Deep is really cool. It's pretty straightforward to get into, I would say, compared to some of the other games on this list, so if you want something accessible, like you're new to survival games and you would like a starting point, this is a good place to get started. So, Stranded Deep needs to be on this list. It's a really cool video game. Subnautica is another game that many of you watching this would have already heard of will already have played it's been around for ages now it's available on the nintendo switch ps4 ps5 xbox one and the xbox series x and s in last year's video i featured the sequel subnautica below zero rather than subnautica and i always remember someone in the comments saying to me subnautica is is a far better game and i was like okay i need to go back and play subnautica then and they're right it is more enjoyable you'll not find many people saying bad stuff about subnautica because it's just a really cool game if you've got a fear of the depths of the ocean this will scare the hell out of you I'm not particularly fond of the ocean myself, but I find this game intriguing, and it's a game that definitely needs to be featured on this video. Next up is The Forest on PS4. This is a game I absolutely love. I've spent many, many hours with this. I found it extremely creepy to play. It's story-driven, so it's your usual, you're playing crashes into the forest type fair, and basically you've got to go and find your kid, but there's huge, huge survival elements to this game. I still haven't finished this because I spent far too much time just like building huts and just surviving and exploring. It's an awesome game. I'm surprised it never came to any of the other consoles. And you'll be able to pick this up pretty cheap now. Probably sort of 10, 15 quid. So yeah, The Forest. The last game to feature on this best survival games on the consoles in 2023 is The Long Dark. Available on PS4, Xbox One and the Nintendo Switch. This is probably my favourite game on the list. It, it's a toss up between this and Rust. I would probably go with this just. It's an absolutely beautifully crafted game. And you just need to check it out, guys, if you haven't played it before. The description of the game on their website says, The Long Dark is a thoughtful exploration survival experience that challenges solo players to think for themselves as they explore an expansive frozen wilderness in the aftermath of a geomagnetic disaster. There are no zombies, only you, the cold, and all the threats Mother Nature can muster. That's probably why I like this game, because there is a realism to it. There's a, there's a melancholy feeling to it as you play. There are people's notes to read. There's basically a whole story to put together, and the narrative is woven through it by reading stuff and i love that it doesn't hold your hand at all and it's just really atmospheric I, I just love the long dark it's a beautiful game it needs to be in this video it deserves all of its plaudits and it is my final game on this video but is it my final game like i did say at the top of this video We'll be looking at a few survival games that are due on the consoles at some point in 2023 and beyond. Most of these games will reach us this year. First up is Sons of the Forest. Now this is supposed to be hitting the PC February 23rd, 2023. It's a sequel to The Forest and I think we will see it on the PS5 at some point towards the end of this year maybe beginning of next year but i'm fingers crossed for 2023 i can't wait for sons of the forest it the trailer looks really creepy really strange and uh, yeah hopefully like i say we'll get it on ps5 i think towards the end of this year state of decay 3 is supposed to reach us in 2023 there is no other information on this i have done a video on what is going on with state of decay 3 it's on the channel guys go check it out i can't wait for this game because the trailer looks really cool Although, if you do watch my video that I've done recently on this State of the K3, there's politics, let's just say that, going on behind the scenes. So, yeah, check it out, guys. But I am hoping we see that game this year. 
Next up is an extremely controversial game, which is a talking point for many gamers across the land. It's the day before another game I featured on the channel quite frequently. It's penned in on PC for March the 1st, 2023. I can't see it hitting console at all this year, but there are some rumours saying we will get it towards the end of this year on PS5 and Series X and S. There's not a chance last gen is going to run this game. But there are also people out there saying the day before it's just not going to happen even on PC. There are some extremely sceptical people when it comes to this project. I'm always making videos on games like the day before, guys. So we did have a trailer recently, didn't we? It didn't show that much. Um, but the day before, hopefully, fingers cro cross everything, guys. Hopefully, we'll get some news on this in regards to the console versions this year. And last, but certainly not least, it's been around on PC for a while now, and that's Valheim. It is coming to the Xbox One and the Xbox Series X and S confirmed, and it will come straight to Game Pass. It's already on PC Game Pass. Um, I'm not sure when in 2023, but Valheim is definitely definitely 100 percent coming in 2023 <laughs> don't quote me on that though guys but that is what everyone is saying that's what the developer has said so i hope you have enjoyed this video i hope a few of you guys watching this find it helpful let me know in the comments what your favorite survival games are on the consoles also let me know what you're most excited about this year out of the games i've just talked about sons of the forest state of the k3 the day before and Valheim I personally can't wait to see how the day before turns out because the premise is everything I want in a survival game but there are people out there who are saying it's just using the assets from the division which is fair because it does look very similar I just hope it's going to be good guys so again cross everything as always thank you so much for watching please hit this video up with a like likes really help the channel please subscribe if you don't already i've got loads of content planned we've got a few different series now running on the channel we've got a retro series called old school we've got the retro football where we play loads of old football soccer games i got the free on steam series where i'm playing games which are free on steam and some of them are laughably bad and some of them are great uh yeah and i got loads of other content planned as well well, guys, I'll speak to you all very soon. Have a fantastic 2023 and beyond.